ഹലോ ബിന്ദു ടീച്ചർ സാജൻ സാർ ഹലോ ഓഡിബിൾ അല്ലേ ഗുഡ്ഡ്ഡ്ഡ്ഡ്ഡ്ഡ്ഡ്ഡ്ഡ്ഡ്ഡ്ഡ്ഡ്ഡ്ഡ്ഡ്ഡ്ഡ്
to hear yet another enriching talk from you. I take this opportunity to welcome Dr. Bindu Ma'am, Research Coordinator of the Research Wing of Martyophilus Training College. I also welcome all the teachers, mentors, research scholars, and students who have joined us for this program. Thank you. Thank you, Sindhu Ma'am. Dear participants, today we have an exuberant personality with us, Dr. K. S. Sajan, sir, who will be sharing his perspective with us on the topic, Open Source Data Analysis Software for Researchers. Before we start our enriching session, let us have a brief introduction about our resource person from Mrs. Gina Praveen. Gina. Thank you, Vincy. Am I audible? Yes, Gina, dear. Good evening, honorable dignitaries and dear participants. It's my immense pleasure to introduce our chief guest speaker, Dr. K. S. Sajan Sar, to Insight In Depth Invited Talk Series. Today's topic is about open source data analysis software for research. Open source software refers to the computer software which source is open means the general public can use without any charges. The, change, the challenges is to find the right open source software for our requirements. This session will help to know more about the topic. Before I hand over to Sergeant Sir, a few words about him. A noted educationalist and an eminent personality. Presently, he is working as Assistant Professor of Education at Research Center in Education, NSS Training College, Otapala, and also served as lecturer in Natural Science at the NSS Training College, SN College of Teacher Education, under University of Calicut. He has completed MSc in Zoology, MA in Sociology, MA in Education Technology, MPhil and PhD in Zoology from University of Calicut. He is also certified from various international universities all over the world through online learning platform. He is holding various posts under the University of Calicut, University of Kerala and Government of Kerala in connection with Board of Studies, Curricular Revision and Examination. He has published more than 30 research works and articles including the collective work related to state level textbook, handbook and module preparation for biology, population education, and home science. Also created more than 300 educational learning material related to education psychology and educational research and statistics. Delivered a series of lectures on the topics, education technology and use of mobile phones at Agashavani, and also conducted two video Lectures in the national television channel Swayam Prafa of NCRT. Apart from all this, he is a well known resource person and education technologist. Finally, it's my great privilege to introduce Dr. Sajan Sir to the web talk series and make it a memorable one. For all the participants who are attending this webinar, I welcome you, sir, and let us hear more about open source data analysis software for research. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Gina, for the wonderful introduction. Before we start the session, I would like to share some instruction. Kindly cooperate with us for the smooth functioning of the program. Kindly mute your microphone and please do not share your screen for an uninterrupted Vincy, let me interfere. Georgia sir wants to talk for a, a second. Uh, after that, we'll get the information. Okay, sure, sure. Okay. Georgia sir, please, sir. Nothing. I, actually, I just wanted to welcome Sajan sir uh, on behalf of the college from my own part. That's all. Sajan sir, we are really indebted to you for your continued support as a resource person, uh, as a trainer, especially in technical aspects. Uh, we have uh, um, uh, plenty of uh, take uh, home from your side 
all these years we have been benefiting a lot and thank you very much sir i would like to congratulate uh, uh, professor dr bindu and uh, all the research scholars of marketplace training college for having organized this program in such a meticulous fashion really proud of uh, you all i am really indebted to you uh, to you all from my heart i would like all of you to switch on the video if possible for 2 minutes so that i can take uh, one or two uh, screenshots of the people who are present uh, present here only if everything is convenient for you don't be bothered about that if you can switch on the video some of you we can uh, have a photo of it as well and if, even during the talk also if everything is fine with you keep the video open so that um, sergeant sir would be happy uh, looking at the faces of somebody while the talk is going on and i would like to request the students and research scholars of marketplace training college to type uh, in the chat so that it would uh, it would be looking like an attendance certificate for you and the participants also you can type your name and address in the chat box um, uh, and it would be great if you share the poster and link with your friends and colleagues now we have got 83 participants and we can accommodate 250 your help is uh, a humanitarian work and it's a philanthropic positive act as well that's all from my side let me take a photo of everyone and you can um, the, um, uh, tag a sergeant sir so that you can have his uh, have a look at his face uh, in close Uh, view that's all from my side thank you everyone carry on okay sir shall i begin please do please do yes the participants few instructions for the smooth functioning of this program kindly mute your microphone and please do not share your screen for an uninterrupted session kindly pin a resource person to view the presentation If you have any query during the presentation, please type them into the chat box. We'll bring them up during or after the presentation. Link for a certificate will be provided only after the discussion gets over. Kindly fill and share your thoughts and experience to help us to improve. Dear participants, you can also see the recorded video of today's session on our official YouTube channel called MTTC. Nalanjiga. That's all. Now I request Dr. K. S. Sajjan sir to share his thoughts with us. Thank you. Welcome. Sir. Good afternoon to all. Um, special thanks to Dr. Joju Jones uh, for inviting me to MTT. Uh, I am indebted to the uh, Matthew Phillips family for inviting me to our sessions. uh during the time of uh, covid itself and this relationship last um, up to this time and uh this program i think uh, coordinated by research college of marky of les training college and uh, I, i i can read the names of many research scholars from mg university and uh, other sendis of uh, kerala then thank you for joining with me for this session in this session i would like to introduce a small software which may be helpful for you for your data analysis and this software is very easy to use and easy to learn without the knowledge of statistics itself we can utilize the benefits of this software that is an advantage and this software is come under the heading force free open source software and what is mean by free open source software which is uh, the source code of the software is freely available and you can download without any permission from the internet and you can directly install in your um, desktop or laptop and you can utilize at any time um, that you want and you may be familiar with one famous statistical software 
uh, its name is SPSS. I would like to share my screen to show the different sites which shows the, yeah, I think my screen now visible to you. And as explained by uh, Joju sir, I, I cannot observe the face of all participants because my setting is a little bit changed because of I am not in the, in the normal uh, room uh, which I usually conduct the online classes. So I have not uh, all the facilities to observe your face at the same time while sharing the screen. Sorry for that. Uh, okay, that is not a problem. I uh, I request uh, whenever you possible uh, to interact uh, using the camera. That is good. But now uh, I am not comfortable to uh, observe your faces. Okay. Uh, I think my screen is visible to you and I would like to open the um, IBM website and this is not an advertisement. This is uh, um, some words against this IBM uh, package. Actually, this statistical package for social sciences, that is the uh, um, uh, full form before, but now it is simply uses SPSS. And SPSS is the famous statistical software for analysis. And it is not a free software. It is a proprietary software. And its subscription plans are uh, not affordable for us, not for individuals, not for even our institutions, because the cost is so high. But as we use windows or microsoft office the cracked versions are available but it is illegal to use the statistical package to use data analysis for preparing papers because in papers we cannot mention the name the analysis that data analysis is conducted with the help of ibm statistical package spss because they may enquire what is the uh, legal right for you to use that particular term? And you cannot refer it in the reference or bibliography session section of your dissertation. So never use this IBM SPSS package without license. I think in Kerala, there are only few institutions which purchase this software because of this huge amount only for a single package and if you want to upgrade you again you have to pay and that is the problem regarding SPSS and the uh, layout of the SPSS is not so user friendly as that of many other uh, free and open source software. So uh, we can go with some other statistical uh, free open source software and this is one of the famous uh, free open source software, GNU operating system uh, based force and its name is PSPP. PSPP is just a term just uh, against SPSS. That is the only full form of PSPP. But using this program, the layout is exactly similar that of SPSS to use, but the uh, development of this software is not so high and many of the high end statistical packages may not be run using uh, PSPP. And uh, another one is R and R Studio. R is a, uh, actually a language. R is an actually a language for conducting statistical analysis and you can program it according to your purpose. But it needs a little bit uh, training in coding. Uh, I think nowadays the students are much familiar with the term coding and from the school level itself, we start with coding like Python programming or any C programming like that. Uh, and uh, in uh, near future, within 2022 20, years, our education system should adopt coding as an additional language 
or fourth language. We have already first language, second language, third language. As a fourth language from the school level itself, we may adopt any of the coding language because of the uh, uh, use the uh, use of this language for common man. Okay. So this R Studio is so powerful than SPSS, and it can handle trillions of data at the same time. But uh, again, many uh, statistical organizations now focus only on R and R packages. And R Studio is a graphical user interface out of R package. Again, these R and R packages, uh, R Studio, are not so easy to learn for a beginner. But at the same time, there are two statistical packages which are so user friendly and easy for you. And one of such software package is known as JASP, J-A-S-P, JASP. JASP is a beautiful software to uh, learn and to use different packages for your data analysis. Just search JASP, J-A-S-P in Google, you will uh, lead to this particular website. No need to share the link in the chat box because it is easily accessible by typing JASP in the Google page. Uh, now, I think uh, I cannot demonstrate all the features of JASP because I am not so familiar with all the elements of JASP, but the um, layout and the graphical user interface of JASP is so good. But it is a new package than compared to the, our particular topic, the Jamovi, J-A-M-O-V-I, Jamovi. Jamovi is again similar to JASP based on R package and uh, user friendliness also very similar to JASP. I think uh, Jamovi is more user friendlier than JASP and uh, PSP. I'll, um, uh, yeah, what, how uh, you can access the Jamovi? Just search Jamovi and go to uh, Jamovi. Uh, yeah, see, it is also based on R package. And you can directly go to product and you can click on Jamovi desktop and you can download the software according to your machine. Your machine means your laptop or desktop. I think many of you have laptop in Windows and in Windows you can click on uh, the current version 2.3.26 or the uh, solid version 2.3.21. I think it is better to use 2321 because uh, always there are these type of two versions are there, current version and solid version. Solid version means all the bugs of the uh, software is removed and this is the perfect software. But the new software is 2326. But what is the problem is that there may be some bugs uh, it is in under development stage and it is a trial version actually. Uh, you can use it at any, for any time, but what is the problem is that there may be some errors while running the uh, program. So always better to use an older solid version. Uh, now I am using this particular version 2.3.21 recommended for my uh, machine. And if you are using Linux, you can use this and if you are using uh, Apple laptop, you can use this. Okay, to, uh, in all the versions, the name is important. In Linux version, the solid version is under 2326. But in all others, the solid version is one uh, version behind 2321. Okay, just click and download it and install it. Double click and click next, next, next. Yeah, that's enough and click on the start button to locate where the Jamovi is installed. Here, my Jamovi is installed in this uh, launch pad. I can locate uh, by observing this Jamovi button. Yeah, now I would like to open Jamovi. Uh, just double click it and wait for a while. The software layout is so simple. See, this is the data area. 
we can observe the data and this is the result area. We can directly visualize the result from here. And this is the version. Okay. You can directly type the data uh, by clicking the numerical digits here. But there is no need to directly type uh, the data here because you can, uh, if you are familiar with, if you are familiar with uh, what is called Excel, I think all of you uh, much familiar with this particular uh, package. This way. Uh, this uh, spreadsheet package, Excel by uh, Microsoft. Okay. Uh, if you are familiar with this Excel, you can directly uh, use this platform to type the data. And uh, while typing the data, keep uh, in your mind that you have to give the first row as the title row. For example, serial number, gender, locale, etc. should be typed in the first row not in the second row, not in the third row. And you can directly uh, give the data here. And uh, there is no need of a uh, special type of coding like one for female, two for male, etc. You can directly type this type of code, M or F, male, M, F, female, uh, or um, T for transgender, etc. And in the case of locale, you can directly type uh, rural or urban in this way and you can uh, type the um, values of your uh, tool for example if i am conducting a multiple intelligence test i can type the score of the total score of the multiple intelligence test in this uh, column or if you are uh, uh, use this um, excel for adding the item uh, together you can uh, individually enter item 1 and its score 1 or 0 or 1, etc. Then item 2, item 3, item 4, etc. That, uh, that may be very much familiar to you, I think. And uh, after item analysis, you, uh, you can directly enter, uh, you can directly enter the uh, score here, like that uh, such a data is created by me and I will show uh, the data. And uh, for this particular uh, demonstration, I select multiple intelligence as one of the variable and achievement, achievement in any subject, achievement as the other subject. And uh, in this study, in this particular study, I would like to compare uh, the multiple intelligence ability between male and female and uh, rural and urban. And I would like to uh, uh, find out the relationship between multiple intelligence and achievement. I think I can explain the objectives uh, and its uh, related statistics together with this demonstration. Okay, for that purpose, I, I will open one of the uh, one of the particular data for you. Sorry, not this. Yeah, I think this is the data, right? Okay. Uh, if the my screen is not clearly visible, just try to zoom it. Uh, if you are attending the session in mobile phone, you need to zoom your mobile phone to uh, locate the exact part of my uh, screen. I am demonstrating uh, what are the uh, heading which is given to my data sheet. Serial number, gender, locale, then multiple intelligence score and achievement mark scores. Okay. That is only data with me. 400 uh, students data are here. Okay. Uh, then there is a need of this serial number because this uh, left side number is not serial number. It is the row head number. Row head number is used to identify the cell of Excel. We cannot sort it out. We cannot sort it uh, in, in downward manner or upward manner. It is fixed, one, two, three, four. So it is a raw head. Uh, never use this as the serial number for your data. You have to type another set of uh, data for um, serial numbers. 
uh, I, I already, I think, removed one or two numbers from here. And I would like to transfer this data to Gemma. For that purpose, there is no need to copy and paste. I just keep it there. Just click on the Save button in the um, Excel sheet. Uh, in th this is present in sheet number two. When we open sheet number two and press on Save button, what is imported to Jamovi is sheet number two. And if we click on sheet number one, and if we click on Save button, Save button, what is imported to, what will imported to uh, Jamovi is sheet number one. So I need here sheet number two. Okay, in sheet number one, item wise, uh, entered data are here. See, item wise entered data are here, data are here. And the, the total of this score is used for uh, the purpose. Okay, I think now uh, the idea is very clear for you. And now if you have any doubt out to this stage, please unmute and ask uh, how to create a Excel sheet. Then I can demonstrate in the next stage of my presentation. I would like uh, demonstrate. I would like to demonstrate how to import this data into Jamovi and to conduct several analysis. Okay, I'm I'm uh, just looking the chat box and uh, and if you have any doubts, you can just type in the chat box or unmute and ask. I would like to close the other windows. Okay, if you have any doubts uh, or if you have uh, no doubts, uh, just type OK. Just type OK in the chat box. Uh, this is only to, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Anu, Matthew. Thank you, Shisa. Yeah, th thank you, Tara. Yeah, this is just to, to uh, 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 get a feedback from you. Uh, yeah. How can we convert this result into graphs? Okay, that I will explain already. I will, I will explain how to convert this data into graphs. Okay, yeah. Now I would like to open the Jamovi. And this is the, I already explained, this is the data area and this is the uh, result area. And I would like to import, there is an option, to import the data. I would like to, uh, yeah, see here there are uh, several options, new, open, special import, save, save as export. Here I click on the special import button and there is a browse button. Okay, click on the browse button and where you saved your Excel file, go to there. I saved the Excel file, the download folder, and this is my data, multiple intelligence data, new 400. Okay, I click it open. Okay, now the data is imported here. But see, there may be some other variables, some unwanted variables may be here. See, this is serial number one. That is the first co um, column heading of our Excel file. This is male, female. Okay, no problem. This is serial number one. Uh, this is serial number three. There is no need of this. There may be some errors in that uh, Excel file. So just right click and delete these variables. Okay. And this is UR. That is, uh, it is the locality. And this is item wise enter, enter the data. So actually the data I imported is not the data I intended. This is the first sheet of my uh, Excel sheet. Now I have to import date sheet number two. Okay. So for that purpose, I just close this uh, Jamovi or you can use another new window. That is advantage here. This is not possible in SPSS. You can use two Jamovi windows together. Okay. Now I would like to import. Uh, yeah. Before going to that, I would like to save this. Sorry. I would like to save this sheet. Okay. Uh, in order to locate it easily, I would like to 
save it as on my desktop. Okay, and click on save button. Okay, now I would like to import that particular data. Click on special import. Go to desktop. The data is here and click open and wait. Yeah, now the second sheet will appear here. Uh, can you observe the second sheet? Why I uh, say it is second sheet? But how can you assure this is second sheet? Here, row count is 400. Is, it is uh, demonstrated. It is written here. Row count is 400. And there are three blank columns. Just select the three blank columns. Just click and drag and three columns and delete these variables. Okay. Now you can observe serial number, gender, locale, MI score and achievement score. This is the data. Okay. Now we can conduct several analysis using this. Starting from our preliminary analysis like mean, median, mode, standard deviations, different types of graphs to explain this data. Okay. Just click on explore. And this, there is a button descriptives, which is the button. Click on exploration, click on exploration and click on descriptives. Here, this is the result page and this is the data uh, sorting page, which all descriptions you want to use. That means now we are in the tab analysis. The data tab is here. The analysis tab is here automatically. Uh, now we have uh, no need to use the data page. We need to uh, sort the or use the data for this particular analysis. If we need to get number, missing number, mean, median, standard deviation, minimum value, maximum value, just select the multiple intelligence score and put it into variables page. This is the transfer button. Click on this particular button and just transfer. And this is the values, number, missing, mean value, median value, standard deviation, minimum value, maximum value. And if you want to get the achievement score, just again press and uh, uh, put it into the variables area. This is the MI score. This is the achievement mark. Here you can observe achievement uh, average value is 109. But the mean value of uh, multiple score is 59. No, I don't want this type of analysis. I need mode value. I need uh, uh, skewness. I need kurtosis. What we have to do? Just open this statistic tab here. There is a tab. And if you don't want number and missing value, just untick. If you need mean, median, mod, and total value, just click. And if you want to get standard deviation, keep it here. If you uh, don't want to use minimum value and maximum value, untick it. If you want to use skewness, kurtosis, click it. And if you want to check the normality of the data, click Shapiro Wilk normality test. Uh, this is an assumption test in order to conduct many uh, uh, inferential statistics like t-test, ANOVA, and COVA regression. We need the data should be normal or we have to homogenize that data. In order to check the normality of the data, we can use this shape of it. No, I want to get some graphs, some plots using this data. Then click on the plots area. This is the plots, P-L-O-T-S, plots. Click on the plots area and if you like to use a histogram, okay, uh, many students want to use a histogram in the preliminary part of their uh, uh, analysis. If you want to uh, use uh, from the data itself, uh, histogram itself, you can observe uh, the MI score is more uh, normal uh, compared to that of these achievement tests. Because nowadays the achievement test scores are uh, misleading, uh, similar to yesterday's result. Okay, leave it. Okay, if you want to get a, a curved line over the histogram, just click on the density button. 
Okay, now from this figure, you can observe the normal curve. And if you want to get, not to get this histogram, etc., but you would like to get a box plot, you can use it. Then box plot means, uh, the box plot gives more um, uh, fact than that of histogram. Here the median value, uh, the first quartile and the third quartile value, and the highest value and the lowest value. And there is a one outlier. Outlier means uh, one, one data uh, uh, deviated from the normality of the data is there in the, our data set. These type of uh, uh, outliers may affect our result. Uh, so uh, th there is an assumption in t-test and ANOVA, there should be no outliers. And uh, in such cases, you can locate the outlier and you can remove that outlier from your data. Uh, there are two outliers in the achievement test score. And uh, this is the meaning of this box plot. Median value, uh, first quartile, third quartile, and minimum value, maximum value, and outliers. Such things can be observed from the box plot of this Jamovi. And if you like to use bar plot, that is also available, but bar plot is not meaningless here. I just click the bar plot, and um, as explained, it is meaningless. Uh, when you compare males and females, you can use the, uh, uh, what is called the bar plot. Okay, and then QQ plot is a normality test plot. Uh, this, from the uh, figure, it is observed that it, this is somewhat normal. And uh, one or two outliers are here. And this is regarding the MI score. But regarding the achievement test score, it is not normal. The data is highly deviated. Okay, this can be observed from the QQ plot. These type of graphs can be created uh, using Jamovi. And if you want to uh, get a split up based on gender, uh, I would like to select only one variable. I am removing achievement marks to back. Now there is only one variable, MI score. And if you like to use the uh, split of the data based on gender, just select the gender into split by. That means you can get the uh, mean score of males, uh, mean score of females, etc., directly from here. And standard deviation value. Here the box plot also shows that of female and male. Again, the normality plot of male and female. Here we can use this bar plot. That means uh, the uh, mean value of male and female with error bars are obtained. But I think there is no much difference between the mean score of, score of male and female. See, very uh, near. So there is no difference. In such case, it is useless to use bar plot. Okay. Then uh, this is the exploration area of this statistical package and this exploration area or this data exploration area can be used in our preliminary data analysis purpose. Okay, now I think I can go with uh, the other test inferential statistics like t-test, etc. And so um, I forgot to uh, explain one thing. If you want to directly use this figure for your uh, Microsoft Word or any document file, which in which you are creating you are typing your report research report just right click here and copy it and paste it in the microsoft word or uh, google docs anywhere anywhere you can directly right click copy and paste similarly here also this is an apa formatted uh, table only with uh, the first two lines and last two lines there is no column lines etc this is a uh, perfect apa uh, sixth edition formatted table you can just right click and copy and one more advantage there is a reference and you can put this reference in your uh, published papers on in the uh, reference bibliography session of your dissertation or thesis because this reference is valid not as that of SP, uh, spss you can directly use this uh, reference okay yeah now just right click copy and paste in microsoft word and this is regarding the exploration part. Now I am going to uh, compare males and females based on uh, multiple intelligence. For that purpose, I select t-test. 
here the data uh, uh, test we have to select is independent sample because the data given by females are independent of females there are uh, uh, these are two independent groups males and females so we have to click on this particular button independent sample t test and this is the result table independent sample t test here the statistical value will appear here degrees of freedom and the p value the probability of committing an error will appear here okay just click on the multiple angel score and put it into dependent variable and click on gender and put to uh, grouping variables now the t value is here the t value is here and the p value is here and but it will not shows the description of these things and if you want to get the descriptions together with this table click on descriptives yeah this is the descriptions uh, the female mean value is here male uh, mean score is here median is here standard deviation is here standard error is here and based on the t value and uh, i would like to explain uh, simple statistics here without knowing any statistical uh, knowledge you can tell whether the hypothesis is accepted or rejected uh, 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 not rejected or rejected okay uh, that means whether there exists a significant difference between males and females regarding multiple intelligence from the mean value itself it is very clear that there is no difference males and females are almost similar just look into the p value p means probability of an error when we accept the null hypothesis sorry when we reject the null hypothesis what is the probability of an error actually the males and females are very much similar in the case of multiple intelligence uh, though there is a small uh difference very, very minute difference in the mean score and usually we compare with the t value and the t value should be compared with the table value and the if the uh, obtained t value is greater than 1.96 in the table value we can tell that we are confident at 95 percentage level of confidence that there is no difference that is the usual procedure if the value is less than 2.56 then we can tell that there is no difference between male and female at 99 percent level uh, uh, just forgot all those complexities just observe the p-value only the p-value if the p-value is greater than 0 0.05 0 0.05 means 95 percentage if the p-value is greater than 0 0.05 there is no difference that is a simple logic now it can be very clear that this value is 0.4 that is it is greater than 0 0.05 that means there is no difference between male and female there is no significant difference between male and female in the case of multiple intelligence that is a simple uh, uh, explanation of the t value regarding the statistics okay Okay, uh, now you want to uh, check the homogeneity of your test or normality of test on again, you, you want to check the normality based on QQ plot. You can click on these aspects and check whether the data is normal or not. And you can observe uh, some nodes here and based on the nodes, you can decide whether we can you use this test or not. And if your data uh, do not follow a normality, you can use the other, uh, 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 what is called, uh, other type of tests like Welch test or Man Whitney U test, etc., are also available from here. If you are a little bit uh, uh, you know, aware of the, these type of tests, I think these are available now, available in your MUD syllabus. In MUD syllabus itself, these type of tests are uh, mentioned. So, uh, if the data is not normal, you can use a man with me U test here, but you have to compare not the mean value, but the median value. Uh, such uh, differences are there because median are compared using that particular type of test. Okay, then you can go with this type of test. Again, here also, you can just right click, copy, and paste uh, the result in the result page of your data.
okay now i think i am uh, uh, completely explaining what is the procedure of conducting a t test okay just click on the t test button here select the variable and put it into the dependent variable area select the group and put it here if you want to compare not gender but if you want to compare with that of locale just click here and remove it and again click on locale button and put it here now all the results are based on locality r and u here the uh, male female uh, sorry the rural urban values are here and uh, now you can uh, observe the t, t test values here and this is negative 8.09 and the p-value is again greater than 0 0.05. That means there is no difference in uh, multiple intelligence score based on locality. That is a, uh, a result of this test. OK, I think uh, uh, the explanation is clear for you. Uh, I think I have to put this as a workshop mod. But the, uh, as the time is so limited, I cannot go with the workshop mod. Now I would like to explain the, all the fe other features of this Jamovi page. The ANOVA is possible. ANOVA, one-way ANOVA, repeated measures of ANOVA, ANCOVA, MANCOVA, uh, then uh, non-parametric tests like uh, uh, Krusker Valley's test or Friedman tests are also available in this package. And you can conduct correlation analysis, regression analysis using this particular button. And you can also conduct uh, factor analysis using this button, principal component analysis, exploratory factor analysis, confirmatory factor analysis, or um, reliability analysis like the crown patch alpha also can be calculated using uh, this method. And this button is can be used to create frequency table, not much useful. Then what is the uh, main advantage of this Jamovi is that if you like to use uh, uh, a special type of statistical package, you can install it. You can install many modules which are available in Jamovi website. Uh, uh, put your laptop in net connectivity and click on this button, modules, and go to Jamovi library. From the Jamovi library, you can select many other types of test. You may be familiar with the structural equation modeling. Structural equation modeling is available in Jamovi using by installing this particular element. Uh, but this uh, uh, there should be one um, update should be needed to use this structural equation modeling. But the, all other advanced remediation models, Bayesian methods, median model, effect size analysis, these type of things are available here. I think in many other subjects other than uh, education, this path analysis is much important. Then uh, many other type tests are available here. You can just click and install it. If you once install, it will appear as a separate module here. I, uh, I will demonstrate. I would like to demonstrate the installation process. But uh, uh, yeah, our, our data, start data. OK, I would like to install. Um, yeah, this scatter. I would like to just click on this scatter. Uh, yeah, it is already installed. Sorry, uh, editor to run uh, RJ code. I am I am not familiar with RJ code. General analysis for linear models. Okay, just click this button, install it. This is the process. It's, it just download from the uh, internet and it is added to the uh, menu button here. Uh, different types of general linear model, mixed model analysis can be conducted. Okay, now I think uh, the almost all of the features of Jamovi is explained uh, within this time. And if you have any doubts, now it is the time to, for discussion. Thank you. If you, Hello, if you sir. yeah. Please. Uh, so there, there's a doubt in the chat box from Shiza Maria, ma'am. She's asking about uh, the error, standard deviation error. She's asking about whether there yeah. is any range. 
uh, there is an um, SC is, is uh, giving some uh, what is called uh, some some insight into the data structure whether your data is free from errors. Okay, uh, it is uh, very common that uh, we are selecting a sample from a population. This sample never exactly represent the population. There may be some difference from uh, the, the sample value and the population value may have some differences. Okay, uh, the population parameter, how much, actually we want to locate the population parameter, but we are unaware of population parameters. We can only calculate sample statistics. From the sample statistics, we can assume population parameter using this standard errors. For example, uh, if my memory is correct, if we got the mean value of the sample, the population parameter is equal to population parameter mean value. Mean value of the population is equal to sample mean value, sample mean value plus or minus 1.96 into SC, standard error of mean. Okay, that is a, a formula, I think, to uh, calculate the population parameter. Then now the population parameter is a range. It may range from uh, lower than that of sample mean and higher than that of a sample mean. And in that range, somewhere, the exact population uh, uh, mean located. And we have only 95% confidence to tell that. That is the confidence. That is the need to use this standard error. Using the standard error value, we can assume how much population value ranges from in a particular uh, uh, data area uh, using the sample, statis sample statistics. Okay, I think it is clear for Shisa ma'am, Maria ma'am. And other session is required to do ANOVA and COVA regression analysis, etc. Okay, there, I think Shisa uh, Maria ma'am, there is no need to uh, conduct these type of uh, sessions to use it. You just explore it. It is very easy. You just click it and observe whether the data, uh, the value is correct. Uh, you, you just click uh, 111 in one column and 222 in the second column. Uh, try to get correlation value. If you get perfect one correlation, that is correct. In that way, you just uh, explore it. Uh, because uh, using this one hour, it is, it, it is not uh, enough to explain all these things. Um, it is better to conduct in the workshop mode. But I think uh, the time limit is here to conduct in that way. Yeah, OK. Uh, uh, what may be Shisha Maryam uh, like to use uh, Jamavi, I think. Uh, just try to install it and try to use it. OK. Uh, and if possible, if possible, uh, I would like to uh, associate with uh, um, Marty of Illustrating and College of Scholars to conduct another session uh, on these aspects. OK, thank you, uh, Redisa. Uh, yeah, in between, I would like to explain one thing. Joju sir shared one link to get your certificates. Just click on the uh, link. Uh, Sajin sir. Yeah, please. Sir, uh, on 25th, actually, we have got a national colloquium on research writing. The resource person is Dr. Sendin Nadan sir. And I have given the uh, registration form for joining that. Yeah. And, uh, sir, I will also be giving uh, the um, uh, registration Google form of the international webinar, uh, which will be conducted from 29th to 31st of this month. And uh, the research scholars will be giving the feedback form for, uh, uh, for the uh, certificate of this program as well. Okay, okay. Uh, and, yeah. Yeah, no. and, and it would be great. It would be really great if, uh, sir, we, are, we can conduct a hands-on session in future, sir. In the in the coming months, if if everything is fine, we can we can organize a two-hour, if possible, program on uh, the, the same thing, sir, for giving a hands-on training for the research scholars. Is that okay, sir? Please, sir. Ansi teacher, hello Ansi teacher, are you there?
can some of the research scholars uh, uh, add the registration link of the international conference i have given the registration uh, link of the national conference above it's above can any one of the research scholars give the joining link of the international conference and uh, the coordinator research coordinators can give the feedback certificate as well you can give the link and die uh, this is link for the feedback yes sir uh, really I, sergeant uh, sir has joined sergeant yes. sir sir yeah. if possible yeah. in yeah. future in the coming months we can organize a two hour program for giving hands on training also sir for this same software because it is going to be very useful for the research scholars yeah okay sir okay sir we, that we can plan thank you sir yeah hello friends you can move forward with the water thanks and everything okay sir thank you sergeant sir for this wonderful elucidative session sir we are very grateful to you for introducing such a vital software called jamovi and its functioning with us i hope this session is going to be very helpful for all the participants once again i thank you and looking forward for such informative constructive such sessions and future software future also and now i invite mrs malini to deliver vote of thanks good evening to online all a respect our principal dr joyun sir our research coordinator dr bindu ma'am all teachers my dear friends and everyone gather here it's my privilege to purpose a vote of thanks i extend really heartily vote of thanks to our resource person dr k s ajay sir master professor in ns training college patapalam for a wonderful presentation in this program today we got mostly valuable information about open source data analysis software for research from the section we had an opportunity to hear your thoughts and this will surely be going to encourage as in our future events my gratitude to all the participants for for this grand occasion and sharing their opinion today god bless god bless you all have a nice day hello friends before leaving uh, i would like to uh, do two three things i first of all i would like to thank uh, the sergeants sir on my behalf of on behalf of the management as well for such magnanimity and philanthropy uh, you are uh, doing an exceptional exemplary job sir and for the participant uh, participants attention for the international conference uh, sergeant sir happens to be uh, delivering one of the invited talks and it is on artificial intelligence chat gpt and all those things the different the, the changes that would be going that would be happening in the research wing i would like to thank my dear friend Uh, 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 Professor Dr. Bindu Teacher and uh, the coordinators of this program for having conducted this program in an exemplary fashion. I would like to thank uh, my students who have given played the prayer song, uh, the national anthem, all those things, and uh, the uh, people who have uh, prepared the uh, feedback link and were working on the certificate and all those things. Really indebted to you as a team. You are doing. a great job uh, as uh, the principal in charge of martable training college i am really thankful to all of you and i would like to congratulate all of you for doing such great things in a meticulous fashion uh, congrats research uh, and development wing thank you the link of the national colloquium by sendil nadan sir and the uh, link of the joining link uh, registering link of the international conference and the certificate link are available in chat thank you thank you sir now it's time to wind up the program kindly stay tuned to national anthem thanks again for joining with us see you in the next coming series of insight in depth tara if you please play national anthem okay we'll see jana gana mana adina ayak jayane bharat bhagya vidhana panjab sindh gujarat maratha dravida kundala vanta Himachal Yamuna Ganga, Unchal 
Can I give the link of the insight in the certificate once again, please? Uh, sir, insight. please, sir, can, uh, dear participants, kindly wait for some minutes. There are some, some issues in the feedback form link. It will be shared as soon as possible, please. Uh, dear friends, wait, wait, for the, uh, wait for a couple of minutes for the uh, insight in the thing. Uh, sorry, insight 